93% of all military spouses are female. And the other 7% are also males. And that's why I invited Chris Heath here today. I would like to say that this metaphor is correct, that we're speaking in darkness, because that's how the male spouse <laughs> feels. <laughs> I started Macho Spouse about 14 months ago because I had really run into some difficulties finding work as a male spouse, or just as a military spouse. I was experiencing the same thing that every other military spouse experiences. But then I got in my car and I said, okay, I'm not the only male spouse out here. Okay, even though there's no resources dedicated to helping male spouse specific stuff, I'm not the only one. So I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to drive until I find some and I'm going to interview them and I'm going to talk about their life. My first interview, let's see, I'm in Columbia, South Carolina. The first male spouse that I found was in Kansas. <laughs> and uh, so, so I get out to Kansas and, and I interview these guys and it was the greatest feeling of my life. I finally connected after 10 years of this lifestyle. I connected with somebody who truly understand what I was going through. And what we're going through isn't different than what you're going through, but how we process it is totally different, you know, than what you go through. And so to talk to guys who you know, really understood where I was coming from and understood my desire to pick up a camera and drive halfway across the country on my own dime to interview them and put them online. They got that. Every one of these guys has a, has a different way that they want to communicate with us, this military community. And just as JC drove me out of the darkness and into the light, that's exactly the opposite of what I'm trying to do with Macho Spouse. I'm not here to drag guys from the dark into the light. I'm not here to get them off that cliff and bring them down to the community, because a lot of us don't want to do that, you know? I mean, I spent 10 years as a military spouse before I even really knew what a BX looked like. You know, we lived off base, we, I had my career, I did my own thing, she did her own thing. A lot of guys are like me, you know? But what we do need is a hub to go to to, to pick up the, the vital resources, you know, to let us know that we're not alone in this lifestyle. These are the basic military ranks. This is military time. This is why your wife deploys. This is how you should communicate with your wife and your family as your wife is deployed or before or post deployment. You know, there's a whole world of information that we need to know. And that's what Mantra Spouse is doing, is building that foundation for our community uh, to, to basically say, okay, if you don't want to come off that mountain into the village, that's great. But we're here when you need us. You may not need us today, but if you're anything like me, I guarantee you're going to need us eventually, and we'll be here for you. First, as I was saying, just remember that we're there. Know that we're there. Know that when you put on these events on a Friday night, and your door prizes, you're, you're giving away stuff, don't make it all female-oriented. Thanks. You don't want sensey? No sensey. You'd be so we, we, we don't want to be, uh, we don't want our own separate group, because honestly, a lot of guys may not show up to that, but just knowing that we're welcome. Is, is the first step, you know, it's the first step into bringing us in. And that's what, what we're trying to do with Macho Spouse is just to say, hey guys, there's an entire community out there. Yes, they're women, but you know what? They're pretty cool, and, and I think you would like hanging and out. And good looking. And good looking, yes. <laughs>